The presidential election was held almost six months ago, but it's still not over in Arizona. On Monday, the election audit team hired by the state Senate Republicans will begin moving into Veterans Memorial Coliseum at the state fairgrounds. Team 12 political insider Bram Resnick reports there's just one problem. There's nothing to audit. 2.1 million boxed election ballots. One of them might be yours, sitting securely in a Maricopa County elections facility. Former Democratic County Recorder Adrian Fontes says on this weekend Sunday Square Off, the stranded ballots really reveals how little the Senate knows about what it means to run elections. The ballots are supposed to be here at Veterans Memorial Coliseum, awaiting review by Senate Republicans audit team starting next week. They just don't want us to do this audit, so they have put up so many roadblocks. That's Senate President Karen Fan. She's paying $150,000 to a lead auditor who's promoted false claims of election fraud. Outside fundraisers who've claimed the election was stolen from Donald Trump say they've raised another $150,000. They'll need more money for a probe of the ballot counting machines. Uh, these things will cost tens of thousands, if not more dollars each, to pack up again and move to another location. Maricopa County fired this warning at the Senate. It will recoup what the county calls unnecessary expenses. And when we got them, uh, we had to have folks with training unpack them. The county says it's still waiting for the Senate to tell it where to send the election materials. Here's Karen Fan's timeline. The audit team arrives Monday. The work starts Wednesday. The audit will take up to seven weeks, well into June. Assuming there are ballots and machines to audit. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News.